Alright, today is my first video in this series of XL tables. So let's get started. So when you have XL open, it might look like this because you might have a newer version. It might not look like this because you might have an older version. I'm running Office 2002. So first, um, what is it's this is just blank, so we need a table. Yes, this is just making the axes, not the multiplication part, addition, subtraction, and division. So, let's get started. So, we're going to keep A1 blank. We're going to have B1 as 1, C1 as 2, D1 as 3, E1 is 4, um, F1 is 5, and then you know the rest. I am just doing it to 12, which will end at M1. And then A2 would be 1, A3 would be 2, A4 would be 3, A5 would be 4, A6 would be 5, A7 would be 6, A8 would be 7 and you know the rest. Um, okay, so I ended at 12, which will be at 13. So I will come into this after the next part. So now what we're going to do is... So when you come up to here, you see this line? and they go to the right side, also to the left side. So when that comes, just double click, and then the box will get even and smaller. So do that till M, because if we just do it to the highest number, highest thing, which I don't know, like all these. Um, so I'm just doing it to M, and you don't have to do these parts because they're already small. And now you might just want to add some color and make it look better. So we'll do that just after I zoom in. So this is how it looks like. And so yeah. So um click into A1. Okay, so you can do it. You can change it to anything, so what I usually do is fill the boxes black and the font white. It just makes it look cool. So I click the box and then right, oh. So right here it says fill color yellow. If you just do that with white, it won't look that good. You might not even see it. So, put the drag out, and then click black. And then, what I just do is I just have my pointer at black, and my keys are like just moving to the right until I am done. And then you come to A2 and then start, so, um, I'm just going too fast, that's why my, my brush is going weird. And then, it says, like, you might see font, where it says font red, just click the drag out. get to any color you want. I would like to get white. On mine, it is just going to load and load and load. So it might be, mine is just going to get done in a minute. Like, my fog thing is always done in a minute. But like the highlighting, 
Okay, highlighting might be one minute for me in the color. Okay, so mine is ready. Okay, so now you can see the numbers, which is better. Because if you don't see the numbers, sometimes it might not be good. Okay, yes, so when, um, in the videos, when you have to save, um, you're, n you're not going to click save. You're going to click save as. If you just click save, it's just going to go over this file. And then you can't um, use this file unless you just delete what um, we wrote. Or if you just make this again. So it's that simple. And make sure you save this. And I'm doing this right now. So file. Save as anywhere you want. And I'm going to name it Axis. So A-X-I-S. Don't write. Don't have dot and then E-X-E. Because that's going to be an application. So now I saved it. And you can see uh, at the top that I saved this as Axis. And then it just automatically put XLS. So this is just telling you how to make the axis of the tables but this video is not going to tell you the addition table thing the multiplication the division and the subtraction you're going to look at my other videos for this hope this might save you a couple minutes because if you just need to make a multiplication table you're going to be like okay so one times one is one Two, three, and eight. so you got this. But then you find so many errors that you just have to start over. So this will help you. And now check the other videos to have your project done. Bye.